Hey guys, this is Rob here again today. So today we're going to do another RDA review and this RDA did come from angelsigs.com and I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can check out their website. I did pay $11.40 for this on their website and everything on Angel Sigs, they actually changed their website for the USA. It's a little more uh, defined and actually going to show you a little bit more uh, of what the items that they do have in stock. I know they've been having some issues with their website, but at least for the mobile version, they have really redefined the mobile version and uh, looks pretty nice. It is easier to navigate. All right. So this RDA that I am talking about is the Freak Show Style. So this is a clone and this is the carbon fiber wrapped Freak Show Style or clone RDA does come with a nice little chuck cap and the carbon fiber helps with it uh, get not getting hot so you can actually touch the RDA after you've been vaping on it for a while that's real nice so let's go ahead and uh, dive on down on the table we'll look at the box that this did come in and take a look at the RDA itself alright guys so here we are down at the table for the Wotofo Freak Show. And here is the box that it did come in. Nothing fancy, just a little cardboard box here. We'll go ahead and open it up. It did come with it did come with the Allen because it does have grub screws. And it also did come with some grubs, extra grub screws, uh, some silica, and some extra O-rings. Alright, just your normal basic standard stuff there. Which I do like the grub screws because they do lock in and they don't come out as as bad as I'm not saying they don't come out they do come out some but not as bad as the regular Phillip head screws so here's the freak show RDA the carbon fiber now there is no freak show design on there I know some of the other ones had the skull and everything now this one does not have that it's just wrapped in carbon fiber as you can tell it does come with a nice little stainless steel chuff cap right here and as you can see on there, you can see how thick the carbon fiber wrap is. It is pretty thick. And you can see the grub screws and stuff like that. Now this is only a dual coil only RDA here. Now I did pull the cotton out of this, but I did not take the built out of it. So now this is, does have a copper 510 pin connection. It does say made in, made by Otofu. And then it says Freak Show 6795. Now this is a style, so this... On their website does say freak show style so that will be a clone all right we'll go ahead and take the top off so it's three pieces here and a nice beefy deck with three little o-rings here which keeps the barrel on nice and tight and the airflow does come up through the bottom up to the top as you can tell got the two slots underneath the two coils does have a copper center 510 post and then you do got your regular steel post on the side there it does look like the post holes are somewhere around a 2 to 2.5 millimeter holes, which is pretty big enough to run quite a few different uh, Canthal wires in there. I do just have 20 dual 26 gauge in here, and I believe I can get at least a 20 gauge dual 20 gauge in here. All right, the well is pretty deep. It's not the real the deepest well I've ever seen. It's not the shallowest well. It is a real nice little well on this and as you can tell it does have three grub screws there at the top all right really nice little rda haven't had no issues i've been building down to what was it 0.25 i do believe with this rda and everything's been holding up with the insulator and stuff like that haven't had any issues yet whatsoever and i've been using this for quite some time now all right so it does have some juice on it as well so yeah, that's basically the RDA itself. There's not much else to say about it. You do want to build your center post uh, coils on this because you do want them to be right up above the air slots down there. But you don't want them to be 100% all the way up through them because they will touch the side of the barrel. So you want to make sure they're in there, but they are still also over the vent holes down below them, be on the bottom. All right, really nice little machining on this. No burrs. Or anything like that it's really nice machining okay now the one thing the copper hole is not completely round on this I don't know if you can see it it is a little bit of a uh, little bit of an all oblong style 
a hole. It didn't get it completely circle like the two negative posts, but all in all, that's not big a big deal as long as everything tightens up and stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and put that on the wood yip box mod from 88 Evate. Go ahead and put that on there, and let's go ahead and put some cotton wicks in here. Let's see if we got some cotton already ready. Uh, no, we don't really have any ready, so let's go ahead and unroll this little ball here so we can get ourselves some cotton here. We'll go ahead and go about, I don't know, about right there, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and roll it up. Go ahead and roll the ends up, and we'll go ahead and shove it in. Just like that. That's perfect. Not too tight, not too loose, just right. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit more here for the other one. Go ahead and get that shoved in. A little bit tight at the beginning and there there we go we want it about right there that's where we want it nice and tight or not too tight not too loose let's go ahead and cut off the ends to this we don't want them too long so you don't want them getting in the way of your vent holes but we want them to get down in the juice well got a little shallow juice well I do like to cut them all the way up to the side of the uh, base of the RDA but this one has a nice little juice well so we want to give it a little bit of wick on this one here so let's go ahead and tuck this in remembering to keep that away from the air hole there Just like that, easy. Go ahead and shove this side in. And probably a little too much cotton on this build here. Probably could have done a little less. Probably would have been just as satisfied. Alright, so there we go. Air holes are open. Let's go ahead and get some some Rebel juice on there. Now they got some real nice prices as well. Real nice juice here. Got a 70-30, which is a strawberries and cream right here. I've been trying out their juice to see if I like them. And they're pretty good juice and good decent prices. They're not the cheapest, but... They're not the most expensive as well either. They are pretty good prices. I think it's like 12 bucks for a 30 mil. Okay, we'll go ahead and get a tester off of this. Looks like we're producing real well. A little bit more on this. Alright, so let's put the cap on this, line up the air slots with the bottom air holes right there like that. And let's go ahead and bring this back up the top, vape on a little bit more, and talk a little bit more. Sorry guys, that was the review of the Freak Show clone from AngelSigs.com. And I gotta say, it has been a real nice little RDA with the air flows coming up from the bottom. I do get good vapor production from this, and I do get a real good, decent flavor production from this. It's it's not too bad. It's not like a K-Fun or, uh, I don't know, a Typhon or something like that for the flavoring. But it is real nice, enjoyable vape here. So you are going to get good vapor production, and you are going to get a good flavor production as well. As you can tell, tons of fucking vapor. That strawberry creams from Texas Rebel is a real nice little strawberry and cream vape. So, 
Alright guys, that it will be the end of this review and I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can check out angel6.com and like I say, they have changed their mobile website version it is a lot nicer to navigate and stuff like that so I recommend checking them out. I do believe this RDA did cost uh, $10.93, I think that's what it cost me, something like that. But yeah, real nice. Let's get a little more vape and we'll get the hell out of here.